Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Prop Wiz. I'm your host, The Wiz. Today, we'll be looking at and discussing one of my personal projects. This is an X-Wing fighter that I 3D printed. Now, it's been a while since I probably discussed in detail some of the 3D print, and I'm not gonna go into a high detail. This is something that's already printed, but we'll kind of discuss just a little bit of the process and kind of look at it, man, talk about where I got the files and everything. But anyways, the main thing that made me jump onto this uh, 3D printing this thing myself, so I really couldn't find a lot of models out there to the size that I wanted. I wanted something that was just just a little bit bigger and then of course the money thing if they did have something this size we were probably looking at a thousand dollars or more you never know with disney not only do you got the powerhouse disney but star wars those two words combined man creates a lot of money if it's got disney on it you paying for it but anyways this kind of thing this kind of painting i knew would be fun anyway so dove right in i got the files from a place called gam body you probably hear that a lot on this show usually that's where i go to for vehicles i've got a millennium falcon from there my bat wing which got a lot of reviews and you see my bat wing video check that out all those files came from gam body i like that site too it seems kind of pricey compared to other stuff out there well one you got to consider there's a lot of uh stuff out there that's probably not sanctioned by the studio and i'm not necessarily saying gam body is i'm not sure what what their relationship to the to the movie studios are but their things are nicely priced. Uh, the communication is perfect. Anytime they have an update, they'll shoot you an email letting you know, hey, we got an update to the files. For instance, I'll be printing a Star Trek Enterprise. I've already done an Enterprise. It wasn't very accurate. Now they've got newer files on there that look pretty, pretty close to, to the real thing. But this X-Wing Fighter Man was already spot on. Basically, this whole thing is printed, 3D printed using plastic FDM. I think I did do this bad boy before I had a resin print. Printer. I now have a resin printer with some of the details, some of the smaller stuff. I could probably get a little bit better uh, right from the jump. I'll tell you probably this cockpit, some of the engine parts and things like that. I probably would have printed uh, using resin because I, you know, a lot less sanding. I probably would have got the details a lot better. But to be honest with you, man, the cool thing about Star Wars is being able to weather. Uh, right. So there's a lot of things that are probably wrong with the printing. Some of the stuff I don't even fix. I don't even sand out because I want this thing to look worn as worn as those vehicles do in the movie. And I think this bad boy does it. It comes very, very close to it, especially with how it's displayed, man. If you look at some of the original models uh, of any prop in any movie, man, they always have a version that's kind of more crude you got the what's called the hero model or hero prop that has a, a, a lot of detail so this is like right before the hero prop it's not quite there uh but i think it's, it's definitely passable in my opinion enough for me to feel confident with it in my collection i say that all to say and i'm only going in that level of detail because i might print another one of these bad boys one day but anyway the painting of this bad boy was pretty much standard i kind of hit it with instead of hitting it with gray i actually hit it with a white and then i just used the weathering to give it a gray look and that was from the thought process uh from what i heard was of course these rebel vehicles in the movie are old vehicles that were either out of commission or just way way old right this is the rebel this isn't the empire the empire has brand new vehicles the rebels were using old stuff so the idea with this vehicle was that it was actually once white which is the same you know same thing with the millennium falcon which you actually saw in the solo movie where it was actually white later on when you see it it's got that gray that old look so i decided not to fake it to actually do it that way i painted this bad boy white and then i started hitting it with the black i hit it with a translucent black just to kind of darken some of the edges give it the burn marks and through that process the more I painted it, the more it kind of looks gray to the eyes. The reds, the blues, the yellows, everything else was pretty much standard. I just used the masking, just masked off little spots that I wanted painted so I can get clean lines. But before airbrushing, I did put glue or, or putty in certain spots. So when I airbrushed it, I was able to peel that away and make it look like there was holes or there was parts that rubbed off. And I guess I should say all those colors, the red, the yellow, and the blue lines, I painted that all before I started hitting it with the translucent black. So all that was done on top of the white before I started the weathering process so would it blend in a little bit more. For the engines, I used the technique where I took some browns, mixed some browns and some greens, uh, made it very, very wet, poured it in there and just kind of wiped off the, the as much as I could. That way, all the browns kind of stayed in the cracks. That was the weathering technique that I used for the engine part. So when you look at it, you can see the browns and stuff in, in the cracks that was left in there, just adding that dimension. And again, taking that airbrush and kind of hitting it in some areas as well to kind of make it just more and more random. The cockpit is missing the glass. I didn't put a glass on the cockpit. That's one thing that 
I might go back and do, but to be honest with you, this feels accurate. It, it looks right when you see it. So I don't know if I want to put a glass in there. Uh, still thinking about it, man. You know, the cool thing about 3D printing, you can always go back and add. This thing falls off or a piece broke. I have access to the files to be able to replace that one that one part. So it, it, it never feel like it's over. You never feel like you're stuck with, with something that, that you bought. It, it's, it's, you, you feel like you got a lot of control when you 3D print. So that's the beauty about this thing right here. Of course, I did specifically make Luke Skywalker's uh, X-Wing fighter. So you got the the five stripes on there you got r2 uh sitting in his little bay couple of little things on there to let you know that this is luke's uh x-wing but anyway man that's my thoughts on, on on this uh i guess specifically the files man you know shout out to gam body you don't like what i did to this man you can easily grab those files print it and do your own thing man and share it with me man let me know what you guys think in the meantime along those same lines man leave me some comments man let me know what you think about this is this something you plan on uh getting your hands on looking into let me know what's up. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, I love you guys to death and I'll check you out next time, all right? Peace. Yo, insane, but watch me rise from the flames like a phoenix. Fiending to shine while you other guys like to spine to repeat it. Speaking anemic, so your human globe is low on breathing. Oxygen, you're bleeding. Weaklings keep your heartbeats beating. So be constantly repeating, beating your yes, to the cement. See, it's not just eyes, but open your minds wide to see it. Supply dreams with ties, disguise the scenic size. You see it, flying demons try to keep us buried deep in dying season And I ain't even dying, breathing, fire sneezing Gasoline and scratching, matching what needed to keep from freezing These whack of seeds nowadays gotta keep them from singing Wish they skinny jeans would stop their bodies from producing semen Producing humans moving to grow confusing Whack as he is, believing we the best kept secret ever since Jesus See, it's all guesswork, it's genius in sweatshirt in Egypt Get the deepness, seep it, deep-seated, then best just leave it